Like Sony phones were already a rare breed to start with. I've talked about this before in past videos where I've reviewed the Sony Xperia 5 Mark II and the Xperia 1 Mark III and the One Mark IV and the Pro-I, etc. All these phones and this one are loaded with features and manual controls and technology, but they also all have like the smallest target demographic, like the narrowest band of people who will actually appreciate everything that they do. And that's fine, there's nothing wrong with a product like that existing, but that also has me kind of worried. See, we lost HTC, we lost LG. This, this is just in the past couple of years. Uh, and YouTube commenters would probably have you believing that it was just the negative videos about the smartphones that single-handedly took them down, even though there was huge corporations behind them, and that's clearly not true. But I would like to try something a little bit different today. Because I actually think Sony right now looks almost exactly like where Porsche, the car company, used to be. So if we're being generous, Sony smartphones today are like Porsche cars 20 years ago. So Porsche was toiling away making expensive enthusiast sports cars for years. And they were sick, they were really fun cars. But also their sales numbers were anemic and the business itself was actually in danger. So the strategy, to oversimplify, was just give the people what they want. Crossover SUVs are starting to blow up, they're taking off in sales and they're becoming the most popular best-selling vehicle. So they took a bit of a risk as a sports car company and built a Porsche crossover SUV. That was a Porsche Cayenne. 